In this video, we're going to cover control point stakeout. So after you've already created your job, you have the model in, you've done your localization, every morning, once you start your base, you should always go and check into a control point to make sure you're good. So we're going to check into control point 300 today. So it's really just survey, stakeout, control point. I'm going to select number 300, hit OK. You can see it's telling me I need to go east, 84 feet, north negative, so I got to go south, 154 feet, and down 4.143. Now you're going to walk there. I'm just going to hold and move there. Okay, and as you can see, you know, you're going to want to see these numbers get down to zero, or as close to. Now, you can see I'm, I'm getting pretty close, 0 0.17. You're going to want to look for 0 0.03, 0 0.04. Your elevation should be dead nuts, 0 0.02, 0 0.03, right? If you notice, stuff like this, okay? Now, I'm in simulation mode, so we have a, a, a different in base height and, and rover height. But you're going to look for your base station height, your rover height. If you notice that you have a cut of four feet, once you're going into your control point stakeout, something is wrong. This is where you either give us a call, check your rover height, check your base station height, or go to check into another control. Perhaps this one got, you know, uh, disturbed. Okay, that's it.